So I stumbled across Mega OS. What is Mega OS? It's an advanced operating system designed to provide a comprehensive and user friendly computing experience. Okay, doesn't tell me anything. But it uses apps like Pure Wine. So not fake wine, I take it. Uh, pure Wine. And uh, I guess that should actually be just normal wine, but okay. Because if there's another project called Pure Wine that I'm not aware of, let me know. But I'm guessing here they're talking to the fact that they don't use anything like wine tricks or crossover or whatever else it is. So anyway, and it helps you run your Microsoft Windows programs exe without ever going back to Windows. Okay. Sure, that's going to work for every piece of Windows software, isn't it? Sorry, I shouldn't seem so sarcastic. And, uh, well, at least it tells us it also supports gaming. It's incredible for gaming. It uses Steam. And if you go to the documentation, well, I don't really get too much information here. Uh, and if you go to download, it just tells us to download Mega OS Sierra. Nice uh, code name there. And must be very honest with you, I tried to get more documentation, more info about this, but I really couldn't. It was uh, very hard to find anything. Uh, bugs doesn't tell us much. Uh, getting started doesn't tell us much. So I first tried to get this thing installed using KVM, but uh, that was a mega flop. I've started this up in VirtualBox, and it looks like this is probably an Ubuntu-based distribution, even though it doesn't show anywhere on the website. So I'm just going to walk through the installer, just running through the installer, and yeah, I'll let this thing complete and come back when it's done. Okay, so 16 minutes later, restarting now. Anyway, so this is Mega OS, which is definitely Ubuntu based. I see they're using Nemo over there. A couple of interesting options. So if I click on this thing, this bot rocks up. Hello. What OS is Mega OS based on? Okay, that was an incredibly helpful bot. Uh, let's look here. Reality Soft Store. Welcome to the store from Reality Soft. Okay. This is just the GNOME software store. With uh, something else put on top of it. Interestingly, interesting choice that. Okay, so let's say I want to install Zonotic. And because this is Ubuntu based, it comes with Snaps pre installed. Or, yeah, it still has Snap capabilities. So I'm just going to close that. Okay, that answers that question. Reality Soft Maps. Okay, so that uses Open Street Maps. Interesting. And a search. Okay, it's open. Oh, it opens up the browser. So let's uh, get to the terminal here and Reality Soft Terminal Interface. Mega OS is licensed under the Reality Software License Agreement. You can find that. What the heck? Yeah, let's look at this thing for real. So it's just Cinnamon Desktop Environment. Uh, uses kernel 5.15. So I take it this is Ubuntu. All Linux mint that's been uh, modified. That's what it is. So the app update. Actually, come to think about it, this is going to be Ubuntu. But all oh, not. I'm right. It does have Linux mint here. Or maybe this is some form of weird hybrid between the two they've done. Interesting. Interesting. The repository Chemi release does not, not have a release file. 
Interesting. Okay, so let's see the app install VLC. Will that even work? Okay, VLC is installed. That's fine. Okay, so well, let's look at this menu. Uh, accessories, connections, disks, file renamer, firmware. Nothing out of the ordinary. Oh yes, they have wine tricks. But that's not normal wine. That's uh, wine tricks drawing. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. Mm. Okay, that's an app. Nice. Okay, then we have Office, LibreOffice, Internet, Brave, Transmission, Other, Eland, VLC, Administration. System Monitor, as we can see here, only use 14 gigs, 1.6 gigs on memory, no CPU usage. Preferences, couple of options here, system settings, just cinnamon uh, settings here. So I take it this is just the panel they've chosen to add here. Okay, so we can close that. Panel settings. Okay, so you can just hide and close the panel. And you could add a seriously different launcher if you wanted. Places recent. Okay, so it says it can easily do Windows applications. So maybe we should just download a current update Brave, cut it up to the latest version. All right. How do you update this? Yes, I'm not going to be ridiculous and try to install Microsoft Office on here. That just wouldn't be cool. Uh, let's just save that. Okay, let it download this. Okay, so I'm going to close that. Close that. And uh, go to downloads. And I should be able to open this up. So open up a pure line. Why did I not uncheck the WinUp toolbar? Ugh. Okay, so. There we go. It's just just paint to skin. And it launches. Nice. So that actually worked. New version. Okay. I love the new version, will it? Okay, so that download thing actually did work. I mean, it was easier than I expected, but something like WinUp is older, so a newer application is probably not really going to work. Uh, okay, let me rephrase that. It will, might work, but it depends on the application, which is important to know. So not every application is going to work straight out of the box. Uh, because obviously, Wine can only support certain applications. Interestingly here, they mentioned, specifically mentioned, Steam. But I don't see anything here, like a, a pre-Steam installer or anything. Which is weird. I would have expected that. Especially if you're going to mention it. So folks, what I think, well... I mean, it's a, another Ubuntu-ish based distribution with open source software that they've put on top uh, and renamed. Uh, let's be honest here, yeah, that's mainly what this is. Um, uh, yes, pure wine is wine tricks. Nice, 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 nice. Um, so... Now, I don't know why they have their license around everything here. Like, honestly, I find that quite interesting. I don't know if they're planning to sell this in future or, or whatever the case might be. Who knows? At least we eventually find out what pure wine is. And yeah, 
Folks, Steve, your comments below. Let me know what you think. I wouldn't recommend this, honestly. But, uh, yeah, maybe you use it and like it. Let me know. As always, thanks for watching and bye for now.